A Livingston County school is implementing an emergency mask mandate with hundreds of students in quarantine across the district. It's happening at Round Elementary in the Heartland Consolidated School District. Grant Herms was there today talking to parents and students and has a look at the numbers driving this decision. Heartland schools just started over a week ago and already they have more than two dozen cases and hundreds of kids in quarantine. And now here around elementary students are required to wear masks inside, despite the superintendent saying this year that masks would be a family choice. Well, now he's saying that things have changed. School buses pulling in at Round Elementary in Heartland. Today, students and staff being mandated to pull on masks as cases of COVID spike. In a letter to parents, Superintendent Chuck Hughes writing, due to the number of quarantine teachers and students, I have mandated all students and staff wear a cloth mask over their nose and mouth while indoors at Round Elementary. According to the superintendent, Round has had six cases since the start of the school year and has 122 students in quarantine. District-wide, 25 cases since the start of the school year and 340 students in quarantine. He was saying he's received pushback from parents over masks and vaccines. In line today, reaction from parents was mixed. I don't necessarily love the idea of people having to be forced to do something. I think every parent needs to decide what's best for their situation. I was actually happy to hear it. I am hoping that the kids will mask up so that we can keep them more safe. Hopefully it's not forever and doesn't last very long this time. For seven year old Hunter, who asked to be interviewed, the return to mask was unwelcome news. It was just really hot. Kids took them off all last year, so I think it, I, it seems pointless. The mouths of babes and masks in schools again. Time and time again, masks have proven to be one of the most effective ways to stop the spread of COVID-19 while indoors. Hughes says they'll reevaluate their mandate and their COVID cases after the Labor Day weekend. Here in Heartland Schools, Grand Herms Local 4.